First things first, I'ma say all the words inside my head I'm fired up and tired of the way that things have been Oh, ooh, the way that things have been Oh, ooh. Second thing, second, don't you tell me what you think that I can be I'm the one at the same, I'm the master of my sea Oh, ooh, the master of my sea Oh, ooh, I was broken from a young age, taking my soul Welcome back to my channel. Um, so today I have this pumpkin look here. <laughs> um, and yeah, I'm, I really like it to be honest. I'm so glad how it turned out and I just feel like it's a really wearable look if you don't want to dress up for Halloween but you still want to do a bit of something, do you know what I mean? Like if you've got to have work or you've got to go somewhere but it's not a Halloween party <laughs> um, then I really feel like you could still join in with the Halloween fun um, and yeah I'm really happy with how it turned out so if you want to see how I got these pumpkin eyes then just keep watching so I've just started off with my eyes already primed and um, for primer I use the Urban Decay Primer Potion as always and <clears throat> I'm going to be starting off I'm going to be using three different palettes. You can just work with whatever you've got, it doesn't matter. Um, so I'm just going to be starting off with the Morphe Jaclyn Hill. This is the Ring the Alarm palette. And I'm going to basically go in with the shade, with the shade, <laughs> God, with the shade Rush here, which is the lightest orangey colour. And <clears throat> I'm just going to basically start packing that on. And I do go pretty heavy handed with this because I do want it to be noticed. And it doesn't have to be perfectly blended yet. We are going to go back and fix it all up anyway. So just for now, we're going to focus on just getting the colours on there. So then I'm going to go in with the shade Alert from the Jaclyn Hill palette, which is just a little bit of a warmer orange. And I'm just going to go directly just underneath that. Then I'm going to go in with the shade Mugshot, which is this one here. And I'm going to take that on the Morphe E17 brush, which is just a bit smaller. Because now I've got the warmth there, I want to start applying the depth. I'm just following basically what I've just done. Bringing it around. So then I'm going to go in with the shade Secret, which is this really dark brown right here. And what I love about the Ring the Alarm palette is all of them are warm tones, so you can literally use whatever you want and it'll all go. And just applying that basically where we just put mugshot. So now I'm going to pop, so now, <laughs> so now I'm going to go ahead and carve out the pumpkin and for the pumpkin I use this Morphe M213 brush, basically just looks like that uh, with my Urban Decay primer and just going to take off any excess and just start to carve out the pumpkin. First things first, I'ma say all the words inside my head I'm fired up and tired of the way that things have been Oh, ooh, the way that things have been Oh, ooh Second thing, second, don't you tell me what you think that I can be I'm the one at the same, I'm the master of my sea Oh, ooh, the master of my sea Oh, ooh I was broken from a young age, taking my soul into the message right on the pole
once the shape of the pumpkin is drawn, let me just grab my stuff. Then I'm going to go in with the Stacey Marie Carnival palette and I'm going to go in with this. Oh my god. <laughs> then I'm going to go in with this really bright orange shade here, which is the shade Lit. And I'm just taking this on a little pencil brush. Actually, I'm going to swap brushes. I'm going to take this on my MAC. It doesn't actually say, but it's the Mariah Carey brush. Oh, that's better. So once I've just quickly filled that in, I'm going to take this, I think it's actually a nail brush, it's just like a really thin brush, and I'm going to go in with the shade Envy from the Stacey Marie palette, and I'm just going to fill in just on the little branch. So now I'm going to go in and basically just define the pumpkin and for that I'm going to go in with the shade Secret and I'm going to take that really thin brush again and I'm just literally going to start drawing the natural lines that a pumpkin would have. As you can see. Now that I've done that, I'm just going to go in with the Lights Out shade from the da -da 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 -da, LA Splash Classic Horror Palette. Um, you don't need to do this, any black shade will do, it's just in front of me. So, And I'm just basically going to define the curves, if you know what I mean. And then I'm going to go in with this shade Naked from the Stacey Marie Carnival palette, which is like a really muddy colour and I'm just going to give it just a little bit of highlight on the pumpkin. So I'm just going in with the shade Keen from the Carnival palette and just literally just shading down the centres like so and I didn't do this, that on this eye so I'm just basically going in and doing it on this one as well then I'm just going to take a black and just basically just draw two little eyes I'm just trying to point them out a little bit. So now I'm just going to go in with some eyeliner. I'm going to be using the Rimmel Liquid Eyeliner. Nothing special. So now I'm just applying a little bit of mascara. So while I'm just waiting for that to dry, I am just going to go ahead and do the face. <laughs> and for this, I'm just going to use my Benefits Professional Pearl Primer. This is the brightening one. Warm it up in the hands. And just apply. Then I'm just going to go ahead and take my Benefits Hello Happy uh, foundation. Mine is in the shade one. Use my finger just to initially apply it. Just 
and then I'm and then I'm going to take just a little bit more, just like where my problem areas are really. <laughs> Look, it's just here. Actually, I'm just going to put it everywhere because I accidentally <laughs> squirted too much out anyway. So <laughs> there we go. I'm going all in for a second coat. So for concealer, I'm going to go in with my Naked Skin Concealer. And for those of you who are wondering, it's in the shade Fair Neutral, if anybody really cares. Um, I'm pretty sure that there's another shade that is actually lighter than this. I mean, I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure. I'd go as far as saying 99% sure. So for bronzer, I'm going to go in with my Hoola. This is the mini one, but whatever. Um, I'm going to go in with my Hoola. Now, I just want to quickly mention that you could... I'm not going to. And the reason I'm not going to is because I actually wanted to do an, a, a look that was wearable. Um, so obviously, as we're coming towards Halloween and things like that, you know, people that go to work and have day-to-day -day errands to run or whatever, I wanted to make something that was Halloween-y but still wearable, you're not in fancy dress, do you know what I mean? Um, so I'm not going to go all out with the face too, but if I wasn't doing it that way, um, I would go in with the same type of concept as we did on the pumpkin and I would do that on the cheeks. So I'd probably do like a bit of orange around here, shading it in with a bit of yellow, a bit of darker orange, a bit of burgundy, you know, and just creating that pumpkin effect. And what I'd also do is probably do like a big black smile with teeth shapes in, like the pumpkin. So just a little idea for you if you did want to take this look to the next level. So going in with bronze here, I'm just going to use the Hoola. And I really love this bronzer, like, I don't reach for it as much as I should, but I think that it's so universal, sorry I didn't hit you back, um, I think like it's so universal, and I don't know how, but it just goes with any skin type like it's just I just think it's so nice So for blush, I'm going to go in with Liberté by NARS. I've had this blush literally forever. But it's really nice and again, it's one of them blushes that I just, for some reason, I don't know why, I just don't reach for it. So over the top of that, I'm going to go in with the Benefit Dandelion. I've literally been obsessed with Benefit products just recently. Like, I cannot stay away. I don't know what it is, I, I think it's because I'm looking after my skin a little bit more now, like before, like not that I didn't look after my skin, but obviously when you're young you don't really care as much, do you know what I mean? So when I tried the Benefit products then I was a little bit like, mm, you know, I'm not obsessed with them or anything, but like now since I've been looking after my skin, they're just working for me, like I love them so much. So I apply that all over where I put my blusher and bronzer just to give it like, as you can see, a bit of a more of a natural glow than a highlighter. So for highlighter I'm going to go in with my MAC Soft and Gentle. And I really love this highlighter as well. Like it's an oldie, but definitely a goodie. <laughs> So now that I have my face makeup done, I'm just going to, she says, I'm not ready. <laughs> She's just going to, I, not she, I, I'm just going to spray my face. And I'm using the Urban Decay Chill Makeup Setting Spray. I absolutely 
like before I wasn't bothered about setting sprays and I was like, do you know what, what do they actually do? Do you know what I mean? But now I see what they do, like once it's set and it's dry, it just becomes together as one. <laughs> so yeah, anyway. So I'm just gonna quickly go ahead and do my eyebrows off camera. Um, Cause it just take me a while to do them on camera. So with the eyebrows done, I went for a little bit of a fluffy look. <laughs> uh, shout out to Kaylee. If you haven't watched her on YouTube, go and watch it. She's incredible and she made me like the fluffy brows. So, yeah. So for the under eye, I'm going to go in with the shade Rush from the Jaclyn Hill palette and I'm taking this on my Morphe, no I'm not, taking this on my Morphe E17 brush and I'm just going to follow where we did the previous part. I don't know why but when I'm recording videos it's like I never went to school. Does anybody else like, can anybody relate to that? Oh, my, my brush is literally just fell out of my bloody hands. So then I'm going to go in with the shade Alert, which is this one here. Basically the same as what we did before. I'm popping that just over the top of what we've just done. Just to make sure the edges are fully blended, I'm just going to take the brush that I used to set my under eye with no excess product, there's hardly anything on here, but I'm just going to ever so slightly rub it under the eye. So then I'm going to go in with the shade Mugshot. Surprise, surprise, we saw that coming. And again, going in, going in. So now that I've done that, I'm going to take my Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion once again and try something that might fail. <laughs> I'm going to try to carve out the rest of the pumpkin underneath the eye, so wish me luck. I feel like I can't get this in the camera. So now I've done that on the under eye. <laughs> uh, so now I've done that on the under eye. I'm going to go in basically. Sorry, I'm trying to give my shit good. Um, so basically, I'm going to go back in with that shade Lit from the Carnival palette. And just basically like fill that in. So now I'm just going to take a little bit of the yellow that we used, which was the shade Keen. And just basically like pop that in. Just a little bit, you know. So for highlight, I'm going to take the shade Mooney from the Carnival palette. And I'm just going to pop that on the inner corner. And for liner on the waterline, I'm actually going to go in with the NYX Vivid Brights liner. And this is in the shade... Oh my god. Halo, which is the yellow shade. Now, do not try this at home because I don't know if it's eye safe. I'm just a knobhead. Lashes, I'm going to go in with the Eyelaw Most Wanted, and this is in the style Gimme Gimme. So guys, this is the completed makeup look. I hope you all really enjoyed this video, and I'm absolutely freezing in my garage. <laughs> 
um because that's where i have my studio so uh yeah but if you like this video please give it a thumbs up please comment and share um subscribe i mean <laughs> um anyway yeah so i really enjoyed doing this makeup look as i felt really quite creative do you know what i mean um and yeah i'm absolutely i'm obsessed with it like i feel like this is totally wearable um like say you're going out for the night or whatever do you know what i mean like it's just just seems like really wearable um and yeah so